Hello, how's everybody doing today? Clint the Audio Guy here, back with my uh, home theater project. Thought I'd show you an update to the room. Uh, most notably, you got the lights in the soffit. Uh, I wanted them to have kind of a narrow beam coming down the wall, but these, uh, you don't really know the angle of uh, light output. These are pretty wide angle, even though they call them controlled dispersion. I got the controlled dispersion ones uh, because they're a little bit recessed and they don't have as wide of a pattern. So um, I was thinking that the front ones wouldn't glare you in the eye as much. But um, they're a little wider than, than I wanted, but what are you going to do? They still look cool. Uh, make, a, make a neat pattern on the wall. The front wall, um, we just did them way out to the side so they wouldn't hit the screen in the center here. Uh, I think the screen, once it's hanging on the wall, will actually be in front of that light so uh, it won't be shining on the screen. Uh, but uh, anyway, we've got these switches back in. Uh, I picked up a faceplate for them. I've not put it on yet because I think we're going to change this switch out so it matches these dimmers here and is also RF controllable, but we have to rewire something uh, to do that. Uh, this is the carpet that uh, I think I'm going with for the room. Just a uh, gray carpet. It'll be the lightest color in the room will be the carpet, so you can see where you're walking and stuff. But overall, the room is pretty dark anyway. <clears throat> It'll be darker than the, this tile that's here anyway. Uh, so I started, uh, um, uh, we, well, we did the baseboard, obviously, the trim all the way around. Uh, that took several painting sessions. We had to sand and clean up the boards, um, get the little uh, furry wood off of it, and then uh, prime it, and then uh, sand it, and then do two coats of the Bayer Limousine Leather Black, which is what the front wall is and the ceiling. <clears throat> nice dark black. Uh, I think it looks nice. The door we couldn't, the pocket door we couldn't quite do yet. <clears throat> so we trimmed it because the door came in and it was damaged. So I had to wait for a new door. So uh, there's going to be trim going around the door, but we can't put that in until we have the door and uh, it's all painted. So it doesn't, uh, so, so it goes in right. Um, did the terminations for the outlets. Uh, three in the back, which those ones are actually on the lighting circuit. Uh, but that's really just for power recline for the chairs and, uh, you know, vacuuming or whatever. Um, but I didn't want it on the circuit with the equipment or the lights for that matter. The equipment is on its own. Uh, 20 amp circuit with like I said before a 10 gauge wire uh, So this one is a tight fit because there's a 10 gauge in there There's a 12 gauge in there that's going to the subwoofer outlets on either side And then there's another 12 gauge that's this inverted kind of deep sunk outlet that goes up behind the TV to this uh, recessed outlet Recessed so when you plug it in there's it doesn't take up space behind the TV and you can get the TV close to the wall uh, I also did this in white as well as the Signal cables for behind the TV so when I look behind the TV You know the back of the TV is black the walls black some of the cables are black I want to be able to see where the cables are so I did white uh, They call this a nose or an inverted nose because it goes in the wall instead of out of the wall uh, 17 years ago when I was doing this, these noses all came out of the wall. And then somebody got the bright idea, let's put them in the wall. So now they do that. Uh, for now, I blocked off the front high wides just with a blank plate on both sides because I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do speaker-wise for those. Uh, because the front wall is black, I'm doing white speakers. Uh, so kind of a stormtrooper look, a little spoiler alert. But uh, 
a white speaker here with a light shining right on the side of it, I think could uh, be a bit of a distraction. So uh, I might go with a black speaker up here for the front highs, but I'm gonna start with left, center, right, two subs and a couple surrounds and uh, see how it goes. So I got the single port. I'm doing all uh, gray outlets and black face plates to you know match the paint colors and the paint scheme in the room and the carpet. Uh, I got single port keystone face plates for the subwoofers and the extra subs in the back. Uh, I'm gonna put F connector ends on these and then I have F connector to RCA keystone inserts in black for the face plates, but I'm waiting for those. Uh, I got them from Amazon. I think they're coming tomorrow or the next day. But once I get those, I can terminate all these to F connectors, pop them into place, and then finish those terminations in the wall. Now I I asked the uh, the carpet place said guaranteed seven day installation. So we were like, okay, well I'll wait until seven days out when I need the the carpet, right? Well, the um, turns out they couldn't even come out to measure the room for six days and they won't accept your measurements. They have to come out and do it themselves. Like they can use a tape measure better than anybody else apparently. Um, but then I'm standing there going, okay, so it's seven days from the time they can measure, which is Saturday. That's the first day they could, they could come out to do it. So they're like, well, those carpets you're looking at, those aren't seven day carpets. I'm like, what do you mean? They said, well, those are only these crappy carpets over here and there's only like three colors of tan. Those you can get in seven days. The carpets you're looking at are three to five weeks like all the other ones. So it turns out it's not seven days at all. It's gonna be probably five weeks, let's say. Maybe six weeks by the time they, um, come out to measure and they need a couple days to get back to me with a quote I guess uh, they can't just tell me a price so um, so it's a big <laughs> big project so I got a lot of time to do these terminations I'm saying uh, because the rest of the project is kind of waiting on the carpet to get in um, we're doing a rack over here I guess we can build that rack uh, we weren't really going to put it up until the carpet guys had uh, had that done. But uh, anyway, it's coming along. Um, everything in uh, 2021 is, uh, you gotta wait, you know, cause uh, the global uh, shortage of everything, kinda crazy. Uh, oh, one interesting thing. This, uh, my little Sonos, this has been playing the tunes while I've been doing the remodel. Um, this is a Sonos One. It's the small speaker they make. I put it on here on a speaker stand in the corner just because I wanted to see how crazy the bass was in the other corner. Because being a small room, um, I'm gonna have, and you might even be able to hear it, <laughs> I can hear my voice got a lot bassier just when I stood in the corner. Uh, the bass from that tiny little speaker is crazy in the other corner. Uh, so I'm, uh, Wondering how two 10 inch subwoofers is gonna be. Oh, another spoiler alert. <laughs> small room, I'm doing small drivers, but um, I have this uh, idea in my head that big dynamics can come from small drivers given a small volume of space. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll have some carpet the next time you see me. All right, have a good one, everybody.